Growing up, I used to ask myself this question. How do I know that I'm not the only conscious being in the universe? How do I know that I'm not the only one here? How do I know that other people have their own minds? How do I know that there are other minds? How do I know that it's not only my mind that exists? And everything else is my projection. How do I know that I'm not the only conscious being in existence. The answer to this question may seem obvious. I mean, other beings um, behave as if they have their own minds. They know things that I don't know. Some of these beings speak languages that I don't understand. Some of these beings teach me things that I do not know. Tell me about things that I don't know. Teach me things that I don't know. So if they know things that I don't know, if they teach me things that I don't know, obviously they do have their own minds. Like that seems very obvious, but is it? Is it obvious? that you are not the only conscious being in existence. Why do you think you are not the only conscious being in existence? Is it because other people have convinced you that you're not the only conscious being in the universe. Is it because other people behave as if they are conscious? So you assume that they are conscious. Remember, you can't experience life from other people's perspective. And even if you were able to experience life from other people's perspective, that wouldn't mean that they are conscious. It's impossible to experience life as someone else. I know what you're thinking. No, maybe it is possible. Maybe it's possible to experience life as someone else. No, you would actually still be experiencing life as yourself. Even if you became someone else and you had their memories, you felt the way that they were feeling, you still be experiencing life as yourself. Like it is impossible to experience life as another person. You still be you. That is why when you're dreaming, you can dream that you are a snake and believe that you're a snake. But the truth is that you're still experiencing life as you. It's just that in a dream, you believe that you're a snake. You see? You can dream that you're Jay-Z, but you're still you. Your sense of being hasn't changed. So you're dreaming that you're Jay-Z, but you're still you. So you are you dreaming that you're Jay-Z. So if you became someone else, you'll be someone else, but you still be you. Like you'll be you thinking that you're someone else. So there's no way to know that other people exist. That is completely impossible. My question to you is, why did you assume that I exist? Why did you assume that your friends exist? Why did you assume that your parents exist? Because you've assumed that. It's not like you know that other people exist. It's not like you know that your friends exist, your parents exist, your girlfriend exists, your boyfriend exists. No, you've assumed that they exist. That isn't something that you know. And that isn't something that you can know. So why do you f believe that other minds exist? 
the people that you interact with, they have their own minds, they have their own lives, they have their own thoughts, they have their own ideas. Why do you assume that they do? Growing up, I used to ask myself this question a lot. And I think it's the deepest question that you can ask yourself. How do I know that other people actually exist? I think they exist, yes, but how do I know that they exist? When I'm dreaming, I believe that the people that I interact with in my dreams exist. It's only when I wake up that I realize that, oh, no, it was just a dream. And uh, the people that I was interacting with in my dreams did not exist. They were just projections of my mind. How do you know that the things that you are seeing are not projections of your mind? What makes you 100% sure that the things that you're seeing are not projections of your mind? If it's possible for you to have a dream where you are the only conscious being, but then believe that the people that you interact with are conscious. I mean, you can have a dream where you are in a stadium and there's millions of people and you interact with these people and you believe without any doubt in your mind that these people exist. If that is possible, if we know beyond any reasonable doubt that that is possible, why do you assume that that's not what's happening now? What if that's what's happening? That what's, what if that's what has always been happening? And you were suffering because you convinced yourself that, no, 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 that's not what's happening. Uh, there are other people, they have their own minds. You find yourself hating other people because of that. Because in your dreams, some of these people that you interact with are bad people. You know, they're evil. And you hate them when you are in your dreams because, well, they're evil. What if this too is just a dream and the people that you interact with are not real? They're just projection of your mind and you hate them because you think they're real. You are angry at them because you think they're real, but no, they're not. They're just projection of your mind. How do you know that they're not just projections of your mind? So one of the biggest mistakes that we make as people is that we assume that reality is exactly how it seems. That's, that's the biggest mistake that we make. We assume that reality is exactly how it seems. See, so when we're dreaming, we assume that, well, we're not dreaming. Uh, what I'm seeing is reality until we wake up. What if you are still assuming that this is not a dream, but it's actually a dream? What if life can only be a dream? What if you are the only one here? What if you were just lonely and you wanted to forget that you are the only one here and you started to dream that everything else exists? You're not the only one here. You didn't want to believe that you're the only one here. One of the biggest questions that people asked when... Uh, the year about solipsism is well if i'm the only conscious being here why am i not rich why am i not having the things that i want wouldn't that make it very obvious to you that you're the only conscious being here i mean think about it if you were the richest person on earth wouldn't you think what is what are the chances that i would actually be the richest person on earth Unless this was just a dream. Unless uh, I was the only conscious being here. I would want to be the richest person here. Imagine having a dream where you are the richest person. It, it will be obvious that you're in a dream, right? Why is it that you're the richest person in your dream? You're supposed to think that you're powerless. You're supposed to think that... There are people who are more powerful than you. There are people who are more um, capable than you. There are people who are better than you. 
so that you'd feel powerless. What if that's what you wanted to believe, that you are actually powerless? What if you were tired of believing that or knowing that you're powerful? What if you, you were tired to be God? You got too tired. You're like, no, I don't want to be a God anymore. I want to believe that I'm not God. I want to believe that there are other people, there are other beings, there are other animals, and I'm one of them. You don't know if you're not the only conscious thing in existence. There's the thing. And it's crazy to me that people pretend as if they know. When you tell them about solipsism, they're like, no, 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 I know. I know I'm not the only conscious being here. But you don't. If you are being intellectually honest, you know that you don't know if you're not the only conscious being here. That isn't something that you know. That is something that you assume. What if you are suffering because you gave other people power? People that don't even exist, people that don't even have their own minds. You gave them power. You convince yourself that they have their own minds and uh, they have their own background stories. You know, they have their own problems, they have their own thoughts. What if they don't? What if you are the only person who can think? but you are giving power to your projections. Everything else is your hallucination and you are giving power to the beings that uh, you are imagining. Can you imagine someone who suffers from schizophrenia Believing that what they're experiencing is real, when they see monsters, they believe that these monsters are real. And they suffer because of these monsters that they believe are real, but that are not actually real. I think the only way to get to the truth is like questioning everything. You must you must question everything. You must ask yourself every question that a conscious being should ask themselves. And this is one of the questions that every conscious being should ask themselves. You're conscious and you know that. You don't have any doubt in your mind that you're conscious because to even be asking questions is a, is, is a sign that you're conscious. So you know, you know that you're conscious. You think, you think, you feel, you're having an experience. So you know you're conscious. But you don't know if other people are conscious. You don't know if animals are conscious. You just assume that they are. What if the only reason why you assume that they are is because that's uh, how you've programmed yourself to assume that other beings exist because you were tired of being alone? What if life is just your imagination? What if you've experienced everything they used to experience and the reason why you suffer in this reality is because you were tired of feeling like you were God. You were tired of being very powerful. So you wanted to feel powerless because you were just tired. You're like, you've experienced everything. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to have a dream where I forget everything. I'm going to have a dream where I suffer, but I will actually wake up from that dream and I'm going to laugh at myself for even believing that it was real. How do you know this is real? One of the biggest questions that you might ask yourself is why 
why do I want you to doubt that the things that you're experiencing are real? Why, why do I want you to doubt that the things that you're experiencing are real? This is a very important question. I want you to doubt that the things that you're experiencing are real because when you're suffering and you believe that the things that you're experiencing are real, you suffer more. But if you believe that it's possible that the things that, that you're experiencing might not be real, then you might you suffer less. And it's possible that the things that you're experiencing might not be real. How do I know that it's possible? I know that it's possible because you dream. And in your dreams, you do suffer. Imagine that, imagine if you, when you were dreaming, you knew that you were dreaming. Would you ever suffer in your dreams? You knew that, well, the people that I interact with are not real. Why, why would you suffer in your dream? You wouldn't suffer, no matter what they do, no matter what they say. You'd be like, all of it is not real. You know, they can tell you that you're not good enough and you just laugh. Like, yeah, it is what it is, man. You can approach a girl and she rejects you like, hey, man, you're just my projection. I created you, bitch. Your man can cheat on you. Like, nah, dude, like, I created you. I don't have to feel anything. You cheated on me, but I don't have to feel anything. Because you know that you are the only conscious being. Because you will actually be the only conscious being. Like in your dreams, you are the only conscious being. Like it's more logical to believe that you're the only conscious being in your dream. I know that uh, sometimes I do ask you all, how do you know that the beings that you interact with in your dreams are not conscious? But it's more logical to believe that they're not. And if it's more logical to believe that the beings that you interact with in your dreams are not conscious, then it's also possible that the people that you interact with in this reality might not be conscious. That you might actually be God, but you don't want to believe that you're God. Because that's actually what you wanted, because you were tired of knowing that you were God. You were tired of knowing that you are the only one in existence. So you're like, no, no, no. I want to believe that there are other people. I remember I gave you all this example when I was talking about reality not being real. If you were in solitary confinement, would you not want to imagine that you were not alone? Would you not want to imagine that there are other people and you are interacting with these people? Wouldn't you like have conversations with yourself? Would you just like just chill and be like, I'm alone? Or you try to like imagine yourself having conversations with other people? And how would that even how would that make you feel? If you imagine that you were having a conversation with other people. That would make you feel better. I remember telling you guys that if you feel bad, you feel alone, you feel lonely, try to imagine yourself in a better situation. You feel better. Like you can trick your brain. If you want to be a millionaire, you can imagine yourself, you know, having the things that you want, you know, living in a big house if that's what you want, driving the, the car of your dreams, with a woman of your dream, with a man of your dream. Like, you, you, you do have the power to make yourself feel exactly how you want to feel, you know, using your imagination. So if that's possible, if that's possible, if you can change how you feel using your imagination, if it was possible for you to create a reality in your imagination where you, there are other people and these other people have their own minds, I mean, that's what you believe. Wouldn't you want to imagine that 
Like if you were in solitary confinement and you were barred, wouldn't you want to imagine a reality where you are not in solitary confinement? You were not alone. There were other people doing their own thing and you were living with these people. When you're suffering, it's hard to believe that that might be possible. But it might be possible. It might only be suffering as... That might just be a side effect. Because you didn't really know <laughs> what you were getting yourself into. So you ended up suffering. That's a side effect. What you were interested in was figure was uh, believing that you are the only conscious... You are not the only conscious being in, in existence. That's what you were interested in. So you didn't really care about constructing a reality where you are not suffering. So you ended up suffering because of that. I like watching videos about non-duality. I like uh, watching people like uh, Robert Spear um, philosophizing about the you know about non non dualism about idealism they believe that um the world is is not real it's just a projection of 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 of, of the mind they they believe that there's only one mind but this one mind has managed to spill itself into different perspectives. So each and every person that you interact with is real. They have their own consciousness. But what if they, they're not real? What if they can only be one mind and cannot spill itself into different perspectives? Because when you're dreaming, you're still you. Even if you're dreaming that you're a snake, you're still you. You can have a dream where you're a butterfly, but you're still you. What if you can't... What if you can't split your mind into different perspectives that are actually independent like they exist independent of your your existence what if that's impossible what if that's the only thing that's actually impossible what if you you can, it's only you that can um uh, exist and you can never not exist and that's scary like that scares me actually like knowing that it's possible that i might be the only conscious thing in existence and i might not have be able to not exist like that's really scary the more i think about it the more it seems possible How can they be other minds? Think about it. If there were other minds, how would they be able to interact? Why would they find themselves in one reality? Think about it for a while. So there are other minds. How are they able to interact? How do they find other minds? Like, think, think, think about it for a while. So you are conscious. How do you find other minds? You might say, no, I do find other minds because other beings are actually conscious. But how was that even possible? That you are interacting with beings that are self-aware. How was that even possible? Was it possible because someone created y'all and all of you are conscious, are conscious so you are able to interact with one another? But can consciousness even, can consciousness be created? How, how, how does one even get to create consciousness? This is a very important question. How do you think that Elon Musk will be able to create consciousness or he will create uh, 
robots that seem conscious or that behave as if they're conscious but they're not really conscious and if there was a scientist that was able to create conscious beings how would he know that he created conscious beings like if you were able to create sentient beings how would you know that the beings that you've created are sentient because you can't experience life from that perspective so how would you know that they are conscious and even if you were able to experience life from that perspective you wouldn't be able to experience life as them and yourself at the same time to actually know that they're actually conscious if you can't know that other beings are conscious then maybe it's impossible to create consciousness maybe there can only be one consciousness that's hallucinating everything maybe there can only be one being that's hallucinating everything believing that everything is real not knowing that it's just projection of its mind and you cannot know that everything is just projection of its mind it's not supposed to know but even if it was supposed to maybe it wouldn't know because even when you're lucid dreaming you can't really say hey i'm sure that uh the beings that i interact with when i'm lucid dreaming are not real you're not really sure you might be aware that you're dreaming but if they appear real you cannot say hey i'm 100% sure that these beings that i'm interacting with are not real when you ask them questions they give you uh logical answers some of them even give you very profound answers that you've never thought of you ask them why you exist and they give you a very profound answer how can you say they're not conscious you don't know if they're not conscious if this was a simulation how would you know that uh, you're not the only conscious being in this simulation usually when we play like a game where the only ones were actually playing the game and there's just npcs so you're playing a game and there are npcs but you know there are npcs because you have not forgotten that you're not playing with other people with other conscious beings but imagine if you were playing a game with npcs but the people who created that game convinced you that no you're not playing a game with with this game with npcs actually there are other people who are actually playing this game how would you know that you're not just playing with npcs you actually think that that's true like you are playing a game that you're playing with other beings while you are actually playing the game alone I love to make people think, you know. I love to make people think because the truth is not obvious. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make as a human is make making conclusions about this reality where there are other possibilities. You don't make conclusions, you keep an open mind. You keep an open mind because anything is possible. I mean if it makes sense because there are things that just don't make sense but solipsism makes a lot of sense non duality makes a lot of sense like it makes more sense to believe that reality itself is a, is just a projection of the mind like it makes more sense to believe that only consciousness exists like it makes more sense to believe in idealism than to believe in materialism
because if you're going to believe in materialism you also need to believe that time exists and if time exists it will mean that there has to be to have been time when there was nothing but then something came into existence because you're going to say that time exists and it started with everything existing or with some things existing no time started to exist on its own and then at some point something came into existence but where did it come from i mean actually time wouldn't even have a beginning like when you think deeply about it, it wouldn't even have ever beginning it would just it would be infinite like when you think about it like materialism doesn't make a lot of sense it's idealism that makes sense time doesn't even exist it's just only consciousness that exists and it's hallucinating everything time is not real it's imaginary everything is happening right now you are imagining that there are things that have happened in the past and that's why you exist the big bang happened evolution happened god created this the story of adam and eve and eve is true like whatever like you really you, you believe in you're like hey this is this is real but what if it's not what if nothing can be real I hate telling people that this is not real because I think it's wrong. But I I do want people to think. I do want people to think deeply about reality, about what's possible, about what might actually be going on in this world. I don't want to ruin the fun for everyone. But if you started believing that you're the only conscious being in the universe that would mean that uh you need to not take anything seriously. Let's say um there is something that's going well in your life. You don't have you will not need to take it seriously because you are the only conscious being in existence. You are it's it's just you you are hallucinating it's just your imagination it's not real so why should you take it seriously yeah you are imagining everything you got a new job and uh you like that job why should you believe it's real why do you why should you believe it's not real believing that it's not real would make it hard for you to like you know feel happy because you got a new job so i just i just want people to think deeply about what's possible in this world to not uh to not give their power to you know to not give their power to this you know so-called reality when things happen i want people to not be affected deeply about these things i want people to keep an open mind people suffer in their own imagination things happen and you create your own narrative your girlfriend cheats on you and you tell yourself that hey sh- i'm just not good enough i'm just not good enough maybe i was not satisfying her sexually um maybe i was weak maybe i was not being a real man and she had to leave what if 
it didn't your chick didn't leave because of that maybe she left because that's what you are imagining what if there's the only answer but then you are imagining things that didn't happen and that are hurting you what if there is no background story but you believing that there is a background story cuz you grew up thinking that way you grew up thinking that there is a background story like it's so hard to believe that once i uh switch off my camera that's it i stop existing but once you stop watching this video you stop existing yeah i stop existing Why is it hard for you to believe that or oh, to think that Beyonce might not exist? Like Beyonce is not doing anything right now because you're not seeing her right now. Your girlfriend might not exist. She only exists when you start to interact with her. Your mom doesn't exist to you. She only exists when you start interacting with her. Your boss doesn't exist. He only exists when you start interacting with him. God doesn't exist. I mean, you never even get to interact with him, so he really doesn't exist. See, you didn't create a world where there is a God. That's why he doesn't exist. So you never meet God. You just created a world where you're confused about your own existence yeah you don't know why you exist like that's the game that you're playing with yourself cuz you've already played other games with yourself so you, now you wanted to play a game where you forgot completely that you were god and that's fun like you consider that to be fun even when you suffer you're like hey that's fun like it's fun cuz you've already played every game they used to play so you like hey i want to forget that i'm god there's the game that i want to play i want to feel as if i'm not important i want to feel as if i'm nothing i don't have power i'm not uh capable i'm i'm helpless i want to feel that way i want to think that other people are better than me maybe that's the best dream to have so you ended up imagining that you're not important you're not powerful you don't know why you exist you don't know where you come from you're nothing basically What if that was the truth? But because of how you programmed yourself, you don't want to believe that that is the truth. You want to think, "Nah, nah, that can't possibly be the truth. How can that be the truth? No, no, no there's no way. I cannot be the only conscious being in in, in existence." I mean there are other the other planets it's not like earth is the only planet I mean there's the moon there's the sun are the other planets you know Jupiter Venus like no there are other planets man the other galaxies You cannot tell me that I mean I've imagined everything But doesn't that make more sense to believe I mean why are there other planets and you can't go to these planets Like you can't go to these planets Why do they exist if you can't even go to you can't like even go to these planets? If you not had a dream where there were other planets and you couldn't go to them.
I'll be back. Actually,
I'm not even sure how this video <laughs> is going to be because uh, I'm drunk today, but I want you guys to see every side of me, you know, like I don't want to be like I don't I don't want to like um only be in one state when i make my videos i call myself benedict time the truth because i want to show you my truth what do i really think i don't care how crazy i might sound i need to tell you what i really think i need to express myself as honestly as possible i don't want to hold back i don't want to like i don't want to be normal you know i don't want to say things that are acceptable or only say things that are acceptable no i want to say things that are real or oh, things that make the most sense to me i don't only want to say things that other people are going to be like yeah yeah that's good that's good like that actually makes sense no, I want to say things that make sense to me, even if these things don't make sense to other people. Like, that's what really matters to me. And that's what I'm trying to do on this channel. Like, I want to say things that make the most sense to me, even if these things don't make sense to other people. I believe that I'm a deep thinker, and the way that I view reality is so damn deep that... Um, People who are normal, what do I mean by people who are normal? I mean people who have accepted that life should be the way that it is and we must view things the way that we view them. I know, like I, I've created this channel so that I will express myself so deeply that these people who are normal won't really like, let me put it this way. We'll know that there is a deeper way to view life. There's a deeper way to think. Like, this is not... Like, the way that they view life is not... Uh, the deepest way to view life. Like, there are deeper ways to view life. I'm very interested in what tr the truth might be about our reality. Like, that's what really matters to me, is the truth. Like, in any situation, what I really care about is the truth. And it's not the truth that makes me feel good. Like, I don't choose, I don't, I, I don't necessarily, like, when it comes to truth, I don't care how it makes me feel. I care about what the truth is. I've always been like that. Let's say I'm dating a girl and... I suspect that she's cheating on me. I might prefer that she's not cheating on me. And I might prefer to find out that she's not cheating on me. But there's, there's this part of me that's like, yo, no matter what the truth is, I want to find out what the truth is. Even if the truth is that she's cheating on me, I'm going to be okay with that. And I'm, go I'm not necessarily okay with that, but I'm going to be okay. Like what really, what really makes me strength is like being confused. Like, like if you want to stress me, just confuse me. Let's say you are in a relationship with me. If you want to stress me, act like you love me sometimes and act like you don't love me sometimes. Like that's, that's how you confuse me. Like if you're going to show me that you don't love me, I'm not going to be confused. I'm going to heal very quickly because I'm going to be like, oh, the truth is that she doesn't love me so what's the problem but if if a girl makes me think she loves me and then another and then she makes me feel like she doesn't love me she confuses me like that ish like that's what really stresses me because i don't know what the truth is so i'm like hey what if i lose a person that actually loves me and i think i think they they don't love me what if i'm the one who's actually wrong what if i'm just dating this a person who is just so different that I don't really understand them. 
So I'm just assuming that they don't love me, but they actually do love me. But if I'm sure that uh, this person doesn't love me, I'm good. Because I don't want to be in a relationship with a person that doesn't really love me. You see, I want to know that the person that I'm in a relationship with really loves me. So if they don't love me, then I'm good. I'm like, I mean, let me not say they as if I'm gay, like I'll date a guy or never date a guy. If she doesn't, if I know that she doesn't love me, I'm good. It means she's not the kind of person that I want to be in a relationship with. But if I'm confused about whether she loves me or not, then, you know, that's, that's, that's what's going to like make me feel confused. And I'm going to struggle to heal because I'm not really sure how she feels about me, you see. So I'm really interested in what the truth is. So that's why I like to question things that people do not question, you know. Is this a dream? Are we in a simulation? What is this? You know, people don't ask themselves these kind of questions. They don't even ask themselves what this might be. Like, they just live their lives. But I want to, like, really know. So I ask myself the deepest questions. What is this? Why do we exist? Why are we here? Um, what happens after this? You know, I want to know what's really possible. It seems like in this realm, we're not really supposed to know for sure what the truth is. But we can get closer to it by just like philosophizing, by thinking deeply about the nature of reality. <laughs> by questioning everything. See, when you question everything, you will actually be able to... filter out things that just don't make sense. Like, okay, no, religion doesn't make sense. Like, nah. I, I, I don't, I don't want to give Christianity a chance anymore because I know it doesn't make sense. I grew up, when growing up I was a Christian, you know, and I realized it doesn't make sense. Growing up I was, I, I believe in the Abrahamic God, but I know believing in the Abrahamic God really does not make sense. So I'm like, hey, I ain't got time for Islam, I ain't got time for... Uh, Judaism, I don't got time for anything related to the Abrahamic God. Like, no. But there are things that are still possible. I don't got time for evolution, too. Like, I, I know, like, I've, I've done a lot of work. Uh, and I've realized that, no, uh, evolution doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'm like, so I was like, no, I ain't got, I ain't got time for evolution. I do believe that I'm closer to what the truth is. You know is but you can never like be truly sure like you can never truly know what the truth is you know we live in a very confusing world where we're not really supposed to really understand how things work so that's why um i ask myself the deepest questions that's why i want people to think about i'd like to think deeply about what really might be going on you know to not pretend as if things the truth is obvious when someone tells you about solipsism you're like no no no, that's crazy you belong in a psych ward nah you know like it's it's, it's the correct way to think not to believe that you're the only conscious being in the universe but to think that that's possible like that's the correct way to think it's not about believing that you're the only conscious being in the universe because that might actually turn into dogma you're like, ah, I'm the only conscious being in the universe. No matter what you experience, no matter how other people behave, no matter uh, what, like, no matter what evidence you have against your beliefs, you're like, ah, no, no, I'm the only conscious being in existence. Like, no. You always keep an open mind. What I wanted y'all guys to see is that it's possible that you really might be in a dream and you might be the only conscious being in this dream. You see? You might be dreaming and you might be the only conscious being in this dream. And that's actually the best way to look at life. That actually it's just a dream because the only other life that I've experienced was a, was a dream. So it makes more sense to actually believe that you might still be dreaming. You might just be in a persistent dream. 
so you believe it's not a dream because it's persistent because you sleep and you wake up and you still find yourself in this reality and there's still a chance that this reality that you wake up to might not be the same reality that you you were in before you went to sleep it's just that there are things that you don't remember you see that thing like how do you even grow up as a person like you don't even see how you grow up you just grow up and, and 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 become older but you don't really see how you grow up like how is that even possible you just grow up and you grow up and you grow up but you don't really track your own growth like there are so many things that should make us suspicious about how things really work in this reality you know there are no obvious answers there's the thing there are no obvious answers so it's it's good to always keep an open mind and um and always ask ourselves the deepest questions some people stress because they don't ask themselves the deepest questions about what's really going on so when things happen they just conclude that uh what they think happened is ex is exactly what has happened you see some people just will imagine the worst shit and then they believe this shit. Like, hey, that's, that's what has happened. Like, there are no other possibilities. You're in a relationship with someone. You call them the whole day. They don't pick up. You assume that they were cheating on you. <laughs> what if they watched a video on YouTube and they got a bad advice. Someone told them that, hey, you know, sometimes you just got to be absent. Sometimes don't pick up when your partner calls you. That's when they will love you more. <laughs> and they believe that shit and then they don't pick up and then you assume they were cheating on you. You see, like, the, as, keep an open mind. Always keep an open mind when you are, uh, like, dealing with reality. Don't don't make conclusions you know that's that's the better way to live life than to make conclusions the chances are your conclusions will be wrong because there are so many that like there's too many possibilities in any situations there are no obvious truth so it's important to always keep an open mind thank you all guys